what's the best way to get someone to like you? Ask them questions about themselves. Take an interest in their life and how they spend their time. But how? Today, I'm going to teach you how to ask somebody about their life in British English. So, by the end of the video, you should feel confident in talking to new people about themselves and answering them when they ask you questions too. We use present perfect continuous questions to ask about ongoing tasks and actions that happened recently. Have you been traveling? You look very tanned. <laughs> no, I just spent the weekend out at the garden. So let's break that down. Have you been traveling? We start with the word have or has, depending on the subject, followed by the subject. Have you? A question is the only time in the English language that the subject comes after the verb. Next, we have the word been. This is the word that shows that the action is recent and ongoing. This is the verb that puts the question in the present perfect continuous tense. Finally, you use the main verb with the ing ending to ask them about the action. Have you been traveling? It's time for another educational ad. Your challenge is to correctly identify 10 adverbs of manner. What is an adverb of manner? Well, I just used one correctly. It's a word preceding a verb which describes the manner in which the action was done. You must now correctly identify 10 of them. Here we go. Today's lesson has been enthusiastically sponsored by Lingoda, an online language school who faithfully provide high quality, structured courses to allow you to successfully move all the way up to fluency. And for each new level you achieve, you will be eagerly awarded with a CEFR certificate, proudly attesting to your English level. Lingoda deliberately keep their group classes small, approximately three students per class, so you can confidently practice your speaking skills. Or, if you prefer all the attention, then you can opt to take private lessons. And I must boldly add that all of their teachers are highly qualified natives, and as the lessons are done online, you can learn whenever, wherever. Huh convenient. Let me frankly say that as one of their students, I am a big fan of Lingoda's method. And I think you will be too, but don't just take my word for it. Promptly hit the link in the description box below and sign up for a seven day free trial. Oh, and I almost forgot, they also regularly run awesome challenges with unbelievable rewards. It's definitely worth a look. Okay, so let's recap all of the adverbs of manner I used. First, we had enthusiastically, and this means something is done with enthusiasm. You're eager to do it. Then we had faithfully, which means reliably or to be trusted. Then successfully, which means with success. Eagerly means excited, you're eager, you're excited to do something. Proudly means it's done with pride. Hmm. Deliberately means it was intended or it was on purpose. Confidently, of course, means with confidence. Boldly means also to be done with confidence or in a courageous way. Frankly means in an open and honest, direct manner. Promptly means without delay. Okay, you may have written down regularly in that list, but this is an adverb of frequency, meaning something that happens often. Did you get them all right? Hopefully. All right, back to the lesson. Usually, we use questions in the present perfect continuous tense when we already think that thing has happened. 
This might be because the person you're speaking to told you that they were going to do something. So have you been practicing the guitar? <sighs> no, I wanted to, but I haven't had time. Or it might be because you've noticed something that has made you think that. Notice how in the first example, we asked, have you been traveling? And then followed it up with, you look very tanned. This is a very particular way of making conversation. You can ask the question and then explain why you think that. In doing this, you're inviting the person to answer your question, but if that doesn't inspire much conversation, they can also use the explanation you gave them to figure out what to say next. Have you been traveling? You look very tanned. <laughs> no, I just spent the weekend out in the garden. This is a great example of somebody responding to the explanation, which gives you something else to talk about. You could ask them what they were doing in the garden, or you could be very typically British and talk about how lovely the weather was at the weekend. Either way, you've successfully started a conversation about what that person has been doing. And if all else fails, you can go for the simple, what have you been doing lately? And let them take it from there. Let's have a look at some more examples. Has Daniel been exercising? He looks really toned at the moment. Oh yeah, he joined in your gym and he's got a new personal trainer. He looks fabulous. Have you been dancing much? I missed so many classes this month. Not really, to be honest. I twisted my ankle learning to roller skate. All right, roller skating. Has Jennifer been teaching you? Yes, she is a fabulous teacher. Is she? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Now it's your turn. What have you been doing? I'd like to hear about your week in the comments below. If you have a spare few minutes, then why not jump over to another lesson? I'll see you there. Take care.